Welcome to our series of cool places to travel in the United States that you may or may not have heard of. In today's video, we are traveling to Greenville, South Carolina, a city of gardens, bridges, and waterfalls. I'll be showing you where we stayed, some cool places to visit while you're there, and some fantastic restaurants to try. So stay tuned to see why Greenville is considered one of the top cities in the United States. So we are headed to Greenville, South Carolina. Are you excited, Cammie? Yeah! Are you excited, Dada? Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to show you guys some really cool things Mom, you can do. We're gonna hear. We're gonna hear that song. Well, I'm gonna show you some really cool places and things you can do um, when you go. So stay tuned and come with us. So before we got into Greenville, we made a pit stop into Caesar's Head State Park. It's a beautiful park for a picnic that has the most amazing views. So before you get to Greenville, take a stop at this state park. You will love it. We're having a picnic? Mm -hmm. We're having a picnic. It's the perfect day to have a picnic. It is the perfect day to have a picnic. Mm -hmm. Brought you fruit, and we got water, and popcorn, all kinds of fun snacks. Same with the same. Yep. And I got my sandwich. And Kimmy got her fruit. Let's see what you got. Strawberries. So we are headed to the bridge area. I'm um, supposed to be amazing views, so. After about a 45 minute drive, we made it into Greenville, South Carolina. We decided to stay at the Aloft Hotel. It's very beautiful. And the great thing about this space is it's close to everything. It's clean, it's dog friendly, and kid and family friendly. It was perfect for us in our stay. So literally, as you walk out of the hotel, there are restaurants and shops and ice cream within a five minute walk, less than five minute walk from the hotel. My daughter feels like whenever we go anywhere, she has to have ice cream. And you know, I'm blaming her. I, I don't mind having ice cream when we go on vacation. So we always grab some ice cream. We are ready for dinner. You look so cute, Dada. I got my little outfit on. Ooh, yeah. Uh -huh. Cammy's ready too. You ready, girl? You ready, girl? What are we gonna be? Juniper. Juniper. Are you ready for dinner? Yeah. It's kind of dark. Yeah. We're excited. We got all dressed up and cute. We're ready to eat some good food. So, yay! So Juniper Restaurant was about a seven minute drive or less from our hotel. I had my heels on so I didn't want to walk, but it was walkable. It's a rooftop like fancy restaurant that has 
a skyline view. So when you go get dressed up and be prepared to be wowed as soon as you walk in. This restaurant has it all. They have a DJ, a live singer, a dancer, great food, great drinks. It is the place to come to when you're visiting Greenville, so be sure to check this one out. So when we got back to the hotel, they surprised us with all of these goodies and tickets and all this great stuff. Oh and Cammie with her own personalized tent. Now when you stay at the Greenville oh Aloft, it comes with free deluxe accommodations for kids just like this indoor tent. And she loved it. Let's see what's inside. Um, I think these are masks. Wait, no, that's not math. They're all different kinds of things. You can open it. We're gonna go to the museum. Museum? Uh-huh, we got a gift card. Can I have my present? To Master General Store. You guys see what that's about? So in the loft area, they have, um, well, you can get like snacks and stuff. They gave us all these gift cards. And then some popcorn that Pete actually was talking about getting. So it's so awesome, so happy. Good morning. Kimmy, look, look. Say good morning, guys. Good morning. <laughs> it's Hi. Saturday morning. And what are we about to do, Dada? We are about to eat some breakfast and then go to the park. Falls Park. <laughs> you go to the park? You ready? And go to the see the waterfall. Party. A dance party. Yes, they are having the party tonight at the hotel. And really? I am having a big party. You have a, a dance, dance party. party. To get in it. Okay. That, but the boys are sister. The boys can't go. Why? Because he doesn't want to go do it. Okay, alright, let's start getting dressed now. Yeah! <laughs> Ready to fly? One, two, three. Yeah. Our first day out. Let me Greenville. see. In Greenville. Yes, girl. Everyone's looking good. We're gonna take a stroll around Greenville. So we came here about two years ago. Pete had to work. We loved it so much, we decided to come back and we wanna take you guys with us, so enjoy. Now, if you do decide to stay at the Aloft Hotel, make sure you get some of their breakfast biscuits. They're so good. They even have vegan options, so just letting you know. So Greenville, South Carolina is actually named one of the best small cities to live in in the United States and I see why. It's fast growing. The people there, they really enjoy being there. They're very friendly and they take pride in where they live. Also perfect if you're just traveling alone with kids or with pets. It's a very pet friendly city. So if you're coming, bring everybody. Now, one place you have to go see is the Falls Park on the Reedy. It's basically 
waterfall in the middle of their town. It's walk, everything is walkable. It took us about 10 minutes to get there from our hotel. Now you can go there, you can have a picnic, you can walk your dog. I even saw somebody walking their cats. But it's basically a free area to do whatever you want and it's beautiful and so clean. I don't know how they keep their town so clean, but it goes back to people taking pride in where they live. So the last time we were here, this bridge was not there. And, and this bridge is basically located smack in the middle of the waterfall. So you can stand there and watch the view. And I felt very safe with Cami just walking around and being free. Wonderful. We got a little hungry and headed to West End where they had shops, different restaurants. But we were, were specifically going to a place called Gather. Gather is like a plethora of restaurants um, from... Burgers, pizzas, uh, lobster rolls, Mexican food, anything you can think of is there. And they have really, really good drinks. Now, it was kind of hard to get seating, mainly because it's a Saturday afternoon. So it was packed and it was a really beautiful day. So get there as early as you can to find a seat. What was the place we were just at called? Gather. Red Gather. Gather G building was amazing. We had the best drinks. So now we're heading back to our hotel to get ready for dinner. Where are we going for dinner? We're going to Roost. Roost. Okay. are headed to dinner tonight. We're going to a restaurant called Roost. It's on Main Street. Uh, Pete Cadell, let's see how good it is. So the ambiance was really nice there. The food was okay, probably wouldn't go back. Maybe we picked the wrong things, I don't know. But when we got back to the hotel, they were having like a Mardi Gras themed party. So we end up spending our evening in the hotel using some of those vouchers we got and of course Cami met a few friends and had such a great night. Had dinner and had some fun at the lounge and now we're going to bed. I'm so tired. Till tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to the museum. Rainy day today, so we are going to the museum. They have a really nice museum here, and I cannot wait to take him. It's gonna be so much fun. And then we have lunch reservations. Do you know, what's the name of the restaurant for our lunch? Have lunch reservations, some are really nice, I'm sure. And then probably chill out at the hotel and have dinner. So there's a really cute children's museum that's about 10 minutes from our hotel. They have everything your child's heart can imagine. Especially if you go and it's a rainy day and you can't do much exploring, head to the Children's Museum. You will not regret it.
restaurant that we had reservations to close a lot earlier than we thought so we just went over to cantina which is right by the hotel and they have such great tacos so check that out it's really good and pete and cammy left and i decided to do a little bit of shopping at, the, at a posture for me where are we going <laughs> and, and that night we went to dinner um someone at the museum told us about a restaurant to try so we did okay, let's go So this restaurant is called Oto, I believe, and it was delicious. You have got to try this place before you leave. So good. And another thing I love about Greenville is it's very walkable at night. So in the evening, if you want to go for a stroll, you can go for a stroll because it's very quiet. There's not a lot of people walking around and so safe. We're heading home today. And look how beautiful it is outside. Huh? You don't wanna go home? We're gonna come back, okay? We're going to get some breakfast first and then hit the road. They're all packed up and ready to go. Where we going, Cammy? To food. To food. And we're not going to the house. We're going to the house later. Yeah. Yeah. So we decided to go to Eggs Up Grill. That's another thing I love about this town. It's not a lot of franchisey kind of restaurants. They're like small hometown places to eat. And this place was delicious. Hi, welcome to the camera show. Would you like to join up for a picnic? Yes or no? <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, that's the trip. I hope you enjoyed and may consider this city for your next getaway. Be sure to like and subscribe for more.